Hey guys, um, so I decided to make a video on my journey into tree growing. I have uh, tons of trees right now, mostly tropicals, since I live in the Florida Keys. Um, so I'll just get to it and show you what I got going on. I mean, I'm fairly new at the whole tree growing thing, probably since February or so. Um, so I'm just kind of learning as I go. I grow a lot of trees so I can experiment basically. Um, I'm going to start off by these new seeds that I got. They're an umbrella thorn acacia. Um, these things germinate super easy. There's four in here. Three of them already germinated in a couple days. I got experimenting on a couple here in different kinds of soil. Um, I'm really excited about these. I'm, I'm totally digging those. In these two pots, I have Cape Oak trees, basically silk cotton trees. I'm totally stoked on seeing these things grow. I hope they do. Um, so we'll check that out. Here I have a bunch of desert roses that I started from seed. They're not bonsai or anything, but still pretty cool. Um, I'll show you a couple of my favorite ones that I've had going. This is probably my favorite. It's um, Wisteria. It's It looks awesome. Uh, completely cool in my book. I, I really like that. It had some problems at one time. Um, but it recovered. I have two of them. One, they both recovered, but it was a long journey. <laughs> they grow pretty fast, so. Um, this is a Japanese pagoda. They pretty grow fairly slowly. Um, I really like them. I like the way their leaves look. This is my number one favorite. It's a blue jacaranda. Really cool. They grow really fast. I got three more growing too. I don't know if you could see them in here, but it's kind of windy, so I had to move everything inside. I got three more. One, two, three. Uh, oh, here's my other wisteria. It looks really cool. Uh, it's really, it's a little thin, but the, I love the canopy on it. There's also another Japanese pagoda, a little bit bigger. It's got a lot of new growth in there, so that's good. Um, I got some royal poinciannas that are three and a half foot tall, four foot tall. Got one there and one in the corner. Um, these smaller ones seem to be hurt and I don't know what the deal is they're starting to lose a lot of the I think the big ones did that too um, not but I do see new girls on the top so I did repot this one this is for uh, my friend's uh, son I'm trying to grow sorry for for the wind anyway um, here's also another one of my favorites this is a Chilean mesquite really cool area got one cool side branch out the side it's awesome uh, oh, and I have lots of these. These are mahogany trees. Very cool. Some to be growing a lot faster than others. I'm not really sure why, but um, they look pretty cool. As you can see here, um, this is a lead tree. Another one of my favorites. I topped that one. Um, and it started sprouting some side branches, which is kind of cool. Oh, and these are also, um, these are Pacific Rosewood trees. They're really cool. they got awesome flowers on them. Tried a couple of different things by topping some, and i got a big one over here, right there. And I'm just leaving alone. Just let it get as tall as it can. Let's see what else. Okay, let's go. i got some red cedars that a friend of mine from New York sent me, which is really cool. I had four, but one died. These are Parkinsonias. Um, I don't really have too much experience with those. I got three or four growing now. These are awesome too. These are chocolate mimosas. This is a really good one. This other one is kind of losing or get, getting yellow leaves for some reason. I don't know why. I pot them at the same time. I water them the same way. So I'm not really sure why. I'll keep an eye on it though. This is also a lead tree. 
Um, really nice. It's got cool branches already sprouting off the bottom. So I like that one a lot too. Let's go over here. Here I got some Royal Poinciana seedlings. One here, one here. I think this is one too. There's a gold medallion. Hasn't sprouted yet. And these are the wisterias. I'm growing a couple more. They grow so fast. Uh, that's only like three or four days. And that's how, how, much, how much it's already grown. This is kind of crazy. This is a Japanese pagoda. Look at the leaves. Man, the leaf cutter bees have been all over this thing. Kind of destroyed it. But it says it doesn't do harm to the plant. But I'm not really sure. This was a little wisteria that I put in a little bonsai pot for no reason. I don't know why I did that. Oh, this is, um... Uh, that one's a called a, a miracle tree. It's basically from that tree right over that white house. I stole a bunch of seeds. Uh, the seeds would fly into my yard and I planted them. They're pretty cool. That's probably one of the easiest trees to grow. Um, it, it, I mean, you can't do no wrong with that thing. They grow like crazy. They, the germination rate is like 100%. Um, let me see. This is, this is my best Japanese pagoda. It's the tallest and got the most growth. It's got a lot of new growth coming up here too. Uh, oh, here's another Royal Poinciana. I got a key lime tree right there growing. This is a golden medallion. And that's another wisteria. Look at that thing. That's like a day. It's pretty awesome. So, let me see what else I could show you. I, I could show you what my soil mix has been, which is really cool. So basically, um, I do two parts floor dry, which you get from Napa part 8822, uh, sifted to one eighth. Um, I put, so that's two parts Napa oil dry, one part fluorite, which is this right here. This stuff is awesome, it's very sharp. It's um, this right here. $15 for a 15 pound bag and most of it is uh, you know usable that's the only find in this thing uh, in this container that I've got from that so you get a lot of bang for your buck the Napa oil dry uh, you only get about 35% of the bag the rest are finds that I use for my seedlings but anyway so I have two parts Napa oil dry one part fluorite one part, I don't know if you can see that, this is chicken scratch, it's basically granite, and uh, I got pine bark finds in there, and also fur bark finds, um, I got the fur bark from the reptile store or the pet store, and the pine bark finds, I just sift the miracle grow, um, I don't know if I have any, I don't, but if you sift out the miracle grow, you will get tons of pine, pine bark. So just just sift that out and you'll get tons, whatever you need. Um, and what else? Some, and I got some compost in there also. Uh, you can kind of see it in there. Um, so it's pretty much two parts Napa oil dry and one part everything else. So that's what I've been using lately. Seems to be working really good. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, Trying to see what else I could show you. Well, this is uh, also I've been experimenting with the with the mahogany trees as well. I topped this one and three automatically sprouted. I don't know if you could see that, but I'm filming with a 7D, a Canon. It doesn't auto zoom, so I mean uh, auto focus. So but anyway, this is the kind of stuff I've been doing, just kind of experimenting. That's why I try to grow as many trees as possible. I'm fairly new at all this, so I'm just kind of, it's a learning process. Anyway, oh, I got a nice, I'll show you, a nice ficus tree that my neighbor got rid of that I took. It's pretty awesome. I think it's a ficus benjamina. Pretty cool. There's my royal poinsettias. There's two of them in that pot. They're incredible. They're awesome. It's been windy, so they're leaning a little bit, but I'll have to fix that. Oh, and uh, I have 
more mahogany trees in my little plant gazebo. They're taking a beating right now. And this is also a woman's tongue. Three woman's tongues and some mimosas right there. So, oh, I'll show you this too, it's pretty cool. What I've been doing, you can get a hold of these little pots. It's this pot, I don't know where it came from honestly, but I put um, some seeds in there, did those specific rosewood, and then I top it with that cup right there, and it just keeps it really humid in there, very moist. They, the plants seem to love that. Um, so, it's pretty cool. At first I was taping two of these cups together, but now, uh, basically pop that sucker right in there, and it just loves that humidity. So, well, I think that's it for now. Um, I'll do another update in maybe a couple days, show you how my uh, cases are doing. Alright, we'll see you folks later.